Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today, a prepared lesson about solving applied problems involving hyperbola. So the last part ng um, conic sections natin, lesson natin about conic section. So proceed na tayo sa sample problem na pre-prepare ko. Okay, sample problem number one. The earth is 146 million kilometers away from the sun horizontally. So yung... Um, line segment, if meron tayong let's say, ipaplat natin yung points ng earth at ng sun yung line segment na na-form natin is horizontal line which is yung distance nila mula sa isa't isa based dun sa given problem is 146 million kilometers. A comet follows a path that is one part of the hyperbola so let's say uh, along the line, ng horizontal line nung, na na-form ng Earth and Sun, meron tayong hyperbola. So, ibig sabihin, merong curved line dito sa um, left side at meron ding curved line dun sa right side na nakaform ng hyperbola. Isa doon ay dinadaanan daw ng comet. Ayan. Suppose the comet is 40 million kilometers away from the Sun done from the Earth. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi kasi natin alam kung nasaan ba talaga yung comet. Pwedeng, kasi uh, based dun sa description, follows a part, ayan, path that is one part, uh, one part of the hyperbola. So, pwedeng nandun siya sa um, curved line na malapit doon sa sun o kaya pwedeng nandun siya sa curved line na malapit doon sa earth. Pero, ang sinasabi, yung curved line, once na yung comet, once na duma, dum, tumama siya, dun sa line segment na na-form ng, ng sun at ng earth, okay, yung, yung points na yun na pwede nilang tamaan, ang distance daw nun is 40 million kilometers. So, pwede, yun yung, yun yung dinidescribe dun sa um, um, problem. Then, determine the standard equation of the hyperbola center at the origin of the path of the comet. Okay? So, same way lang rin na ginagawa natin in solving applied problems involving circle, um, um, parabola, or ellipse. Lahat yon ang unang ginagawa natin, same lang din. Kapag ka ganito ang problem ang na-encounter natin, we need to plan. So, meron tayong planning. Read, analyze, and visualize the, uh, visualize the situation. So, kailangan meron tayong drawing muna. The drawing muna natin ano yung tura ng ano na yun. So, sabi by and by observing, sabi eh, by sketching earth and sun. So, earth and sun which is a horizontal line yung na form nila na line segment which is ang distance nga is 146 million kilometers. And then um, ayan Tapos merong comet, pwedeng nandito, pwedeng nandun siya, pwedeng nandun sa kabila, nandun sa kabila. Hindi natin alam kung nasaan. So, ang gawin na lang natin kasi di naman natin alam kung nasaan. Let's say, lagay lang natin siya na nandito siya sa malapit sa earth. Okay? Pero pwede rin siya malapit sa sana kasi hindi natin alam kung anong part ng hyperbola nasaan na nakalagay si comet. Okay? Next. Uh, so, based on sa given problem, the, uh, term the equation center at the origin of the path of the comet. So, therefore, kung ipaplat natin to sa Cartesian plane, yung center nila, kung ito yung given na hyperbola natin, yung dalawang curve na yan, so therefore, dito sa gitna na to, nandito yung center. And this is at the origin, which is, this is at 0, 0. Okay? Which is, give us the idea na Kung ito yung curved line okay, ng hyperbola at nakaform sila ng, ng um, horizontal line. So, therefore, ang pinag-usapan natin is a horizontal hyperbola. Okay? Which is, yung point or location ng sun and earth is the focus. Hindi naman sila yung dinaanan mismo eh. Kasi kung nandyan yung curve, si, si Kome, tatama sa earth o kaya tatama siya sa sun. Tama? Which is, nagdumadaan lang siya sa uh, sa path ng isang hyperbola na na-form doon sa um, um, line segment ng sun at earth. So, therefore, 
Ito, kung mula dito hanggang dito is 146, which is yan yung focus. At which is, kung titingnan natin ang formula for determining the uh, distance between the, uh, determining the distance of the focus in hyperbola, that is a horizontal hyperbola, ang ginagawa lang naman natin doon is H plus minus C. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, nag add lang tayo or nagsusubtract tayo ng measurements ng C. So, we conclude that from the center, the distance from the center, kasi di ba yung H natin is what, uh, the, uh, one of the coordinates from the center. Tama? So, from the center, hanggang dun sa coordinates ng focus, ang distance niyan is C. Ang distance niya mula dito hanggang dito is C. At mula dito, ang distance niya hanggang dito ay C. So, kung ang distance nito mula dito hanggang dito is 146 million kilometers, so therefore, we divide 146 million kilometers by 2. Okay? So, that is the first analyzing natin dito. Next, sabi, 14 millions lang daw away from the sun, ayan, done from the earth. So, ibig sabihin, kasi hindi natin alam, pwedeng nandito yung comet eh. Pwede rin nandito. Pwede rin nandito. Okay? Pwede rin nandyan din siya. So, I assume na based dun sa ano, kasi hindi ko naman siya mabivisualize kung hindi ako maglalagay ng isang position na meron siya. Let's say, nandito siya. Okay? Pero, ang sinasabi dyan, kapag ka dumaan siya dun, kasi palos dapat eh, kung dumaan siya dito at tinamaan niya tong line segment na na-form ng earth at ng sun. Okay? So, pwede rin tumama siya dyan pwede rin siyang tumama dito. Ang distance niyang dulot-dulo na yan, that is 40 million. Okay? 40 million yung nandyan. Which is, kung titingnan natin, kung 40 million niya, mula at dulot-dulo, kasi kung dito siya dumaan, okay, o kaya dito siya dumaan, yung distance nun, that is 40 million. Ay, hindi natin hala ko alin doon. So, kung saan siya duma, kung saan dadaan yung ano na yan, yung comet na yan. Pero ang alam, ang dinidescribe lang doon, away from the sun, done from the earth. So, yun, yung comparisons, kung dumaan man siya sa sun, at kung dumaan man siya sa earth, ang comparisons ng distance nila is 14 million. Okay? So, which is, eto yun. Ayan, nandiyan yun. Kung yan yung point na tinamaan nila, sir, therefore, this is the vertex. Oh, vertex X. Uh, vertices of the hyperbola which is it indicates na mula dun sa center hanggang dun sa vertex kung titingnan natin yung formula dun sa um, graphing the hyperbola okay, in determining the vertex ang gina-add lang natin sa um, horizontal ano natin horizontal hyperbola natin sa to determine the vertex is mula dun sa center at h and k that is h plus minus a Diba? And, and, and K. So, therefore, mula dito hanggang dito is um, A. Tama? Ang in lang natin dyan is A. Okay? So, yan. So, kung mula dito hanggang dito, that is 40 million. So, therefore, ganun din ang gagawin natin, kagaya ng to determine the C, we divide 146 by 2. Same with to de determine the A, we divide 40 million by 2. Okay? So, bakit kailangan natin hanapin nyo? Kasi nga, ang inaalam natin ay standard equation. So, ang standard equations natin, may presence ng H and K. Okay? Meron tayong presence ng H and K. Nasa origin daw eh. So, ang H and K natin is at 0,0. And, and then, yung denominator natin is A squared and B squared. Alin man doon, hindi natin alam kung nasa yung position. Pero, nagbibigay sa atin ng na idea na horizontal nga daw siya so horizontal hyperbola tingnan natin kung ano yung standard form ng horizontal hyperbola kung nasa yung position ng A and B okay? kung nasa yung um, yung minus sign okay? so kung ganun man ang mangyayari um, so therefore this is the A ang kulang natin yung B Diba? Kasi A ang denominator ng isa, yung isa denominator is B squared. Okay? Yung isa A squared. So, meron tayong value, may din yung makuha yung value ng A. At dito, pag kinuha natin, meron tayong value ng C. Wherein, meron tayong formula to determine the C, which is 
merong presence nung B. Kasi ang, ang mawawala sa atin to in, in constructing the standard equation is the B. Okay? So, meron na tayong idea. Ngayon, kapag ka nakapag-visualize ka na, di, proceed ka na dun sa next step, which is, list down what is being asked. The problem as for the standard form, the hyperbola, kaya nga yung na-analyze natin kanina. Kaya po ano ba yung pwedeng natin mahimay doon sa um, sa informations na binibigay ng problem. Okay? Next, kung meron pa na yan, di proceed ka na sa next step, which is assemble, write down the given and the equation formula needed. Okay? So, i-analyze natin yan, ano yung mga informations na meron dyan, yung written. Okay? Kanina kasi, i-analyze natin yung informations through graphically. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, i-rewritten natin lahat ng mga information and then kung ano yung formula na kailangan natin. Okay. Next. So, ang unang ang ang unang informations na pinakamalapit diyan is center at the origin kasi since standard equations ang kailangan natin, kailangan natin ang value ng h and k which is ang center nga daw at the origin. So, center locates the h and k. So, kung ang origin ng center natin ay 0 0, therefore h is 0 and k is 0. Next, Earth is 146 million kilometers away from the Sun. Yun yung pinakaunang information. Based from the sketch, uh, C measures halfway of the Pokai. Okay? So, yung measure niya, halfway nga, di ba? Analyze natin, mula doon sa center, hanggang doon sa isa, doon sa focus. Okay? Isang focus is um, C. So, kung ang distance ng dulot-dulo is 146 to determine the half, we divide by 2. So, therefore, C is 173 million kilometers, which is half of 146 million uh, kilometers. So, next, since the difference of the distance from the comment to each body is 40 million kilometers, then A is equal to 40 million uh, 40 divided by 2 which is 20 million kilometers so from you know, to each body hindi kasi natin alam kung nasan siya eh kaya yun nga 40 million yung alin man doon sa dalawa kaya nga away from the sun than from the earth hindi natin alam doon ko sa dadaan pero ang alam natin based doon sa depth uh, sa information is 40 million daw siya so kung di-divide natin yun we determine the value of A which is 20 million next to find B, we can use the formula to de determine the uh, B, which is C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. Uh, so, that is the formula to determine the C. Uh, kung yung mga bago lang, saan ko nakuha yung formula na yan? Dun sa graphing ng hyperbola. Ayan, meron akong video provided nun. Uh, panorin nyo na lang. Okay? Para ma-recall nyo, saan ko nakuha yung C na yan? under siya sa graphing ng hyperbola. Okay, dun dun siya. Next, since the hyperbola is horizontal, then the equation we'll be using is, kasi nga, di ba, formula needed. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Which is, H and K natin, 0, 0. A natin, which is 20 million. Ang B natin, unknown. So, therefore, solve muna tayo dito para ma-determine natin yung B and then, yung B squared. And then, once na ma-determine natin yung B squared natin, okay, substitute natin dito kasi meron na tayong A squared. Okay, meron na tayong A. Tapos, meron na tayong, pwede na natin makuha yung B squared. Meron na tayong H and K. Makakakuha na tayo na standard equation. Okay? So, which is, meron ka ng idea, kompleto na yung uh, given ninyo, di pusit tayo dun sa next step natin, which is, Solve. Solve, perform the solution process. So, eto muna nga, based dun sa analysis natin, wala tayong value for B. So, we solve for B. Wherein, C natin is 73. Yun nga, we divide by 2. 73, A natin is 20 squared plus B squared. So, that is... So, kailangan natin tanggalin yung, ano, yung square root. Di ba? Kasi 20 squared is 400. Meron siyang square root dito. So, tanggalin natin yung square root. We squared both sides. So, that is 5,329 5, is equal to 400 plus B squared. Ang kailangan ko lang, materialize B squared kasi we solved for B. So, 
Therefore, B squared, ita transpose ko tong 400 from positive, that will become negative. So, B squared is equal to 5,329 minus 400. So, subtract natin yon. So, that is 4,929. So, B squared kasi to. So, to solve for B, uh, we square root. So, B is 70.2. Okay? Kung maraming decimal yan, at least for decimal, okay? para at least para, uh, medyo malapit kayo dun sa correct answer. Yun yun. Pero, um, since standard equation naman siya, standard equation, which is B squared naman ang kailangan, kahit mag-stop ka na lang dito sa solution dito. B minus, B is equal to 5,329 minus 400, that is 4,929. So, B squared natin is 4,929. Kasi kailangan mo lang namin standard equation, which is the standard equation ang denominator natin is B squared. Uh, so, not determining the B. Pero, pinakita ko lang rin yung solution process dito. Next, since meron ka ng A, okay, which is 20, ang A squared natin is 400, tama, B squared nat is 4,929. Meron pang H and K, which is at the origin nga daw. So, which is a 0, 0. By substitution, ayan. Pwedeng ganito ang gawin nyo, o kaya pwedeng direction na ito. So, let me yan. Kasi may decimal pang lumalabas. Eh. Baka kasi kung ito yung linagay mo, hindi, hindi ka mag-exact, magkaroon ka rin ng may decimal pa. Para hindi ka magkaroon ng decimal na answer, balikan mo yung, kasi ito na, na determine mo lang naman by um, expressing the radical sign di ba? para at least makancel sa squared so ibig sabihin, naka-squared yun o di balikan mo yung squared nun whole number yun <laughs> yun yun so, x minus 0 squared that is x squared over 20 squared which is 400 minus y squared over 4,929 is equal to 1 which is ito ay naka-standard form na Ama, ito yun siya. Eh. Nandito siya sa form na to. Standard form na siya. So, again, kagaya ng ginagawa natin doon sa mga previous lesson natin in solving, kailangan meron kang explanation. So, explain ka lang. Give the conclusion. Therefore, the equation of the hyperbola in standard form is x squared over 400 minus y squared over 4,929 is equal to 1. Okay? So, I hope ay nakatulong sa inyo itong sample problem natin. Isa lang yung prenipper ko kasi para parehas lang rin naman yung process niya ng solving. So, tingnan lang natin kung ano pa ang pwedeng applications niyan ng hyperbola in terms sa solving problems. So, yung solving applied problems. So, thank you for watching. So, abay sa inyo, class.